What's up everyone and welcome back to the playthrough of Scorn. Today we'll be diving deeper into the weird world that we found ourselves in. In the last episode, we discovered that the world seems to work around putting your fingers in weird finger holes and your hand in weird hand holes. It was a bit weird. We also found our friend Ron, who seemed to got himself in a weird workplace accident and turned himself into a turtle. We helped him out, got him out of his shell with a pizza cutter, and in return he helped us out. Although, by opening the door, he also then locked us in. So now we're on our own again. We seem to be up against this elevator. And let's see what's in store for us. Okay. Oh, I can't actually move around on this one. Okay. Well, this already doesn't look too promising. Seems to be a lot of dead bodies around. Oh, okay. I might have to censor that one. <laughs> So, not much really happened in the last episode. We got kind of lucky. We wasn't chased by anything. But there wasn't much action either. I don't know if it's just sort of teasing us into the world. But um, definitely didn't uh, hold your hand either throughout the game. It's very much you have to just figure everything out yourself. Which is pretty cool. I guess that's kind of a puzzle in itself with this game, because nothing looks familiar. Um, but I do hope it changes a bit, get some action going. Oh. Talk about action. Is this a gun? Well, if it is a gun, it's alive. And that weird noise. It's a bit uh, worrying. Okay, so that's how you aim. Okay, and you see your health now. I don't know what the dots are. Maybe ammo? What is this? Oh. Oh, I can't... It's just like a... Melee gun? Okay, and then I guess it charges up. Yeah, I see it. Cool. At least we got something. Just means now that um, I'm probably going to run into enemies. What's this? Oh. I guess the gun also functions as a key. Are these gonna try and kill me? It's like an oil rig. On the right there. Another claw. Okay. I guess we'll try following that then. You're going to try and attack me. Seem to just be blowing out some steam or something. Can I get past here? Oh, oh crap. <laughs> just used it up already. God damn it. 
Okay, I guess that stuff, the, the blowing then actually uh, damages you. Took quite a lot of health as well. It's hard to tell the range with this gun. There we go. Pop them. The noise as well. It's horrible. Um, I think that's that thing it Okay. Guess I'll use this then. Am I controlling that? Cool, okay. Got like a weird drone on the go here. Um, I am guess I'm going to put it in that slot. Yep. Probably do that one next. Oh, have I got to activate that first? Okay. Well, that's done something. Let's open that up over here. Oh, it's our dead end, though. Yeah, it looks like it's a dead end. It seems like I need those doors to open instead, so I'll probably do the other one now. It did look like there were free slots for those like egg things. So I might have to go do another one. Try this one out first though. Does it actually work again? Yeah. Oh. There we go. Are not working. Oh, it was there on that side. Yeah, that's definitely another one, but there, maybe I don't need to do that one now. I wonder if there's another slot. Yeah. Yeah, it must be. There must be another one I have to do. So that's opened up that side now. Yeah, and again, it's another dead end. Oh, no, can't go that way.
Well, just some weed goo. Just really cautious of going around these corners. <laughs> Ah, okay. Just like the opposite side. This gun's probably going to activate this. Little uh, orb thing's going to pop out. Yeah. I wonder if I could just go all the way around the other side instead of killing these things. I won't because it's quite satisfying the way they pop. I wonder how you get your health back as well. I noticed that hasn't come back yet. Another one bites the dust. Oh, that, oh, okay, there was more over there already. No matter what way I went out, I still have to pop them. Poor little guys. Ah, uh, we're too... Ah, oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> Almost missed the hole then. I feel like this game is just one big sexual innuendo that you could just make. Oh. No, that doesn't look good. We're just covered in all that goop. Ooh. That non suspicious goo. So where are we going to wake up now is the question. No? What's this then? Can I move? No, it's a cutscene. like a cocoon dim. I don't know what that thing attached is. Oh. Oh, it was in an egg. He don't look too good either. I noticed that key's not on, on his hand. So am I a different person now? Or is whatever happened to me, put me in the egg, just taking everything off me as well? Ooh.
lot of dead guys around. A lot of eggs. So we came up. Ah, oh, that's why we fell then. Fell down. Yeah, I don't know if we're a different guy. Oh, we got captured. Anyway. We're free now. We seem to be outside. We'll soon find out if that's uh, better or worse. I hope it's pretty linear, the path. I'm not going to get lost or anything. There's nothing to really guide you. Big open area like this. Ooh. Nice. It's a mound of flesh. So I wonder if this is on an alien planet as well. Or like aliens have come to Earth and enslaved the humans and we're what's left of the humans, maybe. What's that over there? Spaceship? Seems to be... floating or hanging off the edge. Okay. I notice we don't have our gun now either. We're going to run into a giant sandworm now. It's going to try and eat us. Might explain all the big mounds of flesh just left around. Like by there. I don't know how long I'm going to be wandering for. <laughs> oh, the music's getting a bit creepier. It's getting a bit more open. Am I going to have to start worrying about this sandworm? What are these? Little portal parties? Wonder if we need to go to that building. So, this is obviously what was in the intro sequence as well. Still don't know what it all means. <laughs> Don't think I can get it from that side. Maybe I need to go around. It's really open around there though, so maybe I don't need to be coming here. Oh okay, no, that's a that's a cliff for there. I almost forgot I had the sprint button. <laughs> I'll start sprinting instead. It's almost like the whole place is decaying, the way things look. It's a bit like the Crimson from um, Elden Ring. Or was it? No, oh, Crimson. Scarlet Rot. That's the one.
We found our way in anyway. I wonder if it's um the same place we started off in. Oh, hang on. Is that where we just were? When we were placing those like egg things in? I think it is, you know, because it's all that um, suspicious goop. Can I get, uh, climb up into there? No. I wonder if we can see the other guy that's in there. Can't open that. I can't remember now. Which one did we come from? I think it was that one. So if I go up into this smaller door. Okay, yeah. It's very narrow. Oh. I swear like I heard a door. Oh, man. What is that? Ah, this is going to be like the first proper like enemy. Nice. As always, thanks for watching everyone and I'll catch you in the next part.